Uh oh, where am I? <laughs> this isn't a Game Ranks video. Uh, I'm here because uh, I have repairs going on in my house that's kind of loud, but I did want to jump on and make a video and talk about the Zelda movie announcement. Uh, if you don't know, yesterday the official Nintendo social media account came out as Miyamoto-san, it looks like a message saying that there is a Zelda movie in the works, a live action Zelda movie going to be co-produced by Nintendo and Sony with legendary producer one way or another, Avi Arad behind the scenes with Nintendo financing a lot of it and Sony handling the distribution. So that's the boring stuff, but ultimately uh, I, this is what I really like to do here is come and react to news like this, but I slept on it. I didn't want to just bust down a video yesterday. Uh, I wanted to sit and stew on it a little bit, but ultimately uh, I woke up and I still kind of felt the same way. This is weird. This is potentially very cool. Uh, there's definitely some questions, but I, like, whatever. I'm willing to be along for the ride. Now, younger me would come out and be like, Avi Arad, that's terrible. What a bad choice. Because as someone who is not only just an annoying video game nerd, but also uh, an annoying movie nerd, there's a there's like a long history with Avi Arad and uh, his leadership with Marvel, uh, then his work with Sony and producing a lot of that stuff. There's a lot of ups and downs. And I think with him uh, working on this behind the scenes, uh, I think there is a risk because on the one hand, uh, in my opinion, he has seemed very out of touch with certain things at certain points, with statements he's made, uh, with properties he's handled. He's also the one who a lot of times gets the blame for uh, forcing Venom into uh, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 3, which kind of, you know, buckled a lot of that movie. But there's also Sony themselves who I think have also made some weird out of touch moves, not to mention you know, bankrolling and making a Craven and a Morbius movie. Weird stuff. And then on the flip side, you have the positive. You have Avi Arad, who has been long advocating for Marvel and superheroes and the potential of them to become the next big thing. And ultimately, he was right. They did become the next big thing. He was one of the pioneers getting Spider-Man to the forefront and essentially becoming a billion dollar industry. And his fingerprints are on every Spider-Man thing, like live action thing. And a lot of them are really good. So there's also that. Also, I just wanted to share this quote. This is from a, a book, The Epic Battle for Marvel, Marvel, just kind of like about the early days and the financial struggles and stuff. And Avi Arad said, and I quote, uh, pitching two banks, we live in one of the most creative countries in the world, but look around you and you see how few characters have been introduced and survived. You have Star Wars, maybe Star Trek, and you'll be hard pressed to name any other characters that survived that long. I feel certain that Spider-Man alone is worth a billion dollars. And him, and not just him, but a small group of people really advocated for that stuff back in the early days. It's pretty interesting. But again, there have been some significant missteps along the way. All Avi Arad's fault, I don't know for sure, but I know we're getting deep in the movie weeds, but he's been a significant character for a long time in, you know, superhero movies, but also uh, trying to get video game stuff down. Like he, he has been advocating, he was, you know, kind of attached to Hideo Kojima in a Metal Gear Solid movie for a long time. And his name has just floated around for years with a lot of different types of properties. And now here we are with uh, Miyamoto himself coming out on Twitter and saying that he's been working with Avi Arad for years now and it is moving forward. I also like how on the Twitter, like he wrote like, hey, this is Miyamoto, so, like this is a snake. Like, I don't know, it was just funny. But let's have some fun with this because it is crazy to talk about because uh, we also know that there's already a director attached. Plenty of things have been announced early on with directors attached to them and it fizzles out. The Uncharted movie notoriously had like 50 directors attached to it before they finally settled on the one that made it not like just kind of mid. <laughs> now the director for this live action Zelda movie is Wes Ball, uh, who made the Maze Runner movies but I totally, totally missed that boat. I have no, I couldn't even tell you what a Maze Runner is. He has a background behind the scenes of visual effects and stuff like that, but he's also currently directing the big budget Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, which just got a trailer like a week or so ago. And I, I just I just like the, the Planet of the Apes movies. The reboot movies are great, every single one. I like the idea of monkeys like with guns riding horses and shit like that. And uh, the new one from the trailer looks pretty awesome. We don't know for sure yet. And again, the director like has to prove beyond Maze Runner, but 
he's attached to Zelda and people have kind of combed through his social media accounts and it turns out he does like Zelda. He had tweeted just a couple of months ago playing Tears of the Kingdom, but many, many, many years ago, I'll throw it up on screen, he tweeted about how the next big like kind of avatar style like realistic CGI rendered type of like advanced technology movie should be a Legend of Zelda movie. So what does that mean? <laughs> is he gonna have, is he gonna be able to execute that? Is he gonna have the money for that? I don't know for sure, but that's Nintendo and Sony's choice. So uh, whatever, I know a lot of people probably want like Peter Jackson to direct this shit, but like, it's just not the reality of these things when they choose directors, unfortunately. I think for me, the biggest thing, and this is where, this is where the hot takes might come out. And some people are gonna be like, ah, oh, Jake is off with this one, but like, I was never begging for a live action Zelda movie. When Nintendo started to kind of tease after the success of the, the Super Mario Brothers movie that they were gonna expand into other things, I just automatically assumed some sort of fun animated Legend of Zelda thing. And uh, that's honestly kind of what I still want. That being said, like, remember, like, it was like almost 15 years ago now, IGN did a, uh, like an April Fool's video that they, they put out. It was like a trailer for a Legend of Zelda movie. That actually tricked me for a second and I got really mad, but it did look really cool. Nintendo has played around with little live action things here and there, like in commercials and stuff like that. But I just think I really like the super fantasy, cartoony world of Zelda. I've always imagined in my head, Link, not as a real guy, but as a cartoony adventure person. Varying degrees of cartoony. Sometimes we see like a little bit more of like a real looking, you know, Twilight Princess type of Link, but ultimately still someone who is more cartoon or anime or something like that than just like, a guy. Because some of that look, I worry about it translating over. And and that's the big thing. Everybody has casting choices. Oh, I would love to see this person as Link, this person as Zelda, blah, blah, blah. I just want to know, is Tingle going to be in it? What are we going to do with that? Is Nintendo brave enough to uh, acknowledge Tingle in a multi-million billion dollar production of a movie? I don't know, but it goes back to my thing with like live action. Like I don't have a choice for Link. I don't know who I would want to play Link. I would want somebody to have that like boyish hero adventure thing where he can be both soft and also kind of cool and badass at the same time. It is very, very tricky. Good luck to casting directors for nailing that shit down. I don't envy that job, but it comes back to what happened with the Super Mario Brothers movie where they made Mario talk. I really liked the Mario Brothers movie. I, will, I, was, I was skeptical, but I am very happy that like I enjoyed it. I know not a lot of people agree with me or some people don't agree with me. People are kind of all over the place with it. But um, even still, I, after all was said and done, I don't really think Mario needed to speak. So my question is, are they gonna pull that shit with Link? Link's a little different because Link doesn't even have like a, it's a me, a Link or like okie dokie. Like he literally just goes, ha, I say it. Like he just, that's all he does. So maybe they decided to make Mario talk because he had a couple of words. Link on the other hand, really doesn't. Granted, games have like implied that he does speak, of course, but you know, how do you voice Link? I mean, they were, they were bold and big and crazy enough to do it with Mario, so maybe they'll do it again. But yeah, grand scheme of things, I would like a really high budget, insane, fun, adventurous, animated movie with a Link that doesn't talk. And to be honest, after the Mario movie and just how the world shakes out and the fact that I'm an adult man and, and you know, they are going to make this and probably gear this towards children, I'm not gonna get what I want. I have seen interesting takes out there online though with the fact that like with Nintendo, like with Zelda specifically, I uh, was always kind of like a little bit of an older audience and now that audience, like it just kind of has an older demographic going into it. So are they gonna kind of make a movie that reflects that a little bit? It's, is it not just gonna be for young people? I, I don't know. I really don't know. They could make Ganon like scary. There's a way to portray him to make him like outright terrifying as an on-screen presence with a strong actor and just like moody, good. There's something there, there's something there, but I'm kind of all over the place. Like th there's still so many questions. Who are they making this movie for? Is Sony or like Sony leadership or Avi Arad gonna fuck it up? Uh, it's good that Nintendo is still taking a very close interest in this like they did with the Mario movie. And I also think it's very interesting that they are choosing partners specifically for the proper tasks for certain things. Uh, like, it's good to see because you would think after Illumination and the massive slam dunk success of the Mario movie, they would just say, okay, we're with you guys, let's keep going. But they specifically shopped out something different 
for a Zelda movie, which means they might have different plans for it. I mean, they do, obviously. They announced it's live action. But what kind of live action and, and for who and all that stuff just remains to be seen. So unpacking it, I'm already like preparing myself. Like I might not get what I want here, because, but who knows? Uh, you also gotta remain positive about this stuff. That's my ultimate takeaway from this little rambling chat is uh, Avi Arad, quite like I first, when I first saw his name pop up with it, I almost thought it was a joke. I was like, ah, no. Nah. But then like when you think about it, like, okay, I get like, uh, all right. So think a little bit about it. Um, also, it is interesting that Nintendo is going a different route than with Illumination. So maybe they are really choosing the right partners for the right tasks or for the right jobs. And I would also like to say that I, like technically it is still early enough in the process where this can can continue to be kicked down the road. I don't think Nintendo is the type to announce and then kind of like, Neh, you know, so at least with movies. So, you know, it, there might be more to it, but for now, we're, we're just gonna have to wait and see. Just kind of wanted to yap, spit out some thoughts with you guys, but I definitely want to know what you think because I, I'm like, I don't know. I, 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 am I the outlier here? Like I never pictured a live action link. It's just never it's something I really ever like fantasized about. I was always just trapped in the world of like, you know, the Game Boy art, like, you know, stuff, the Super Nintendo art, stuff like that. Even like as a kid playing like Ocarina of Time, like I didn't do the thing where I do with some games where I look at it and I go, oh, pass those graphics. That's a real guy. Now I always assumed like that's an anime guy. <laughs> and, and that's kind of what I was hoping we would get from Zelda. But like, again, am I off base? What do you think they could do with a live action movie? End of the day, I am open to anything. Like I was with Mario, even though I was skeptical, I was willing to be proven wrong and I was happy that I had a good time with that movie. So I'm hoping that happens here. So let me let me know. I, I've, I've been all over the place because I'm not used to my normal recording setup, but uh, let's talk about the Zelda movie down in the comments. Are you skeptical? Are you aware of Avi Arad, of Sony Pictures? Do you think it's the right fit? Do you think Miyamoto and like everybody being, like let's just talk anything about this down in the comments. I'll be down there, of course, if you wanna yell at me directly, you can find me on the social medias, but I gotta run more videos in the works. Stay tuned for Robocop and Alan Wake and stuff like that. But I'm Jake Baldino, see you guys next time. Pizza's on me, subscribe because video games.